Dear students, today we will be discussing about food fermentations part 3, idli fermentation. We know idli is a popular fermented breakfast in India, especially in South India. It is prepared from rice and black gram. It has a spongy texture and a pleasant sour taste due to the lactic acid formed during fermentation. Idli is a legume based fermented food and it is prepared by steaming a fermented batter prepared from rice and black gram. Coming to the ingredients of idli and production of idli, the ingredients are rice and black gram. The ingredients are carefully washed, soaked in water separately for 5 to 10 hours. The soaking is done to soften them and to facilitate decortication. Then they are ground, mixed and finally allowed to ferment overnight. The proportion of rice and black gram varies from place to place. This ground mixture is allowed to ferment overnight. This fermentation is spontaneous and the mixture will be leavened up during the fermentation to approximately 2 or 3 times. This fermented batter is steamed and served hot. It is highly nutritious rich in thiamine, riboflavin, methionine, etc. This image shows a flowchart of the preparation procedure for idli. Rice and black gram are soaked, ground, mixed and fermented and after fermentation the fermented batter is steamed and served hot. The microbiology of idli fermentation. The microorganisms developing during the initial soaking of ingredients are sufficient to carry out fermentation. Both bacteria and yeast play important role in idli fermentation. Bacteria are responsible for acid and gas production where yeast is responsible for the organoleptic quality. Black gram allows the maximum growth of fermentation organisms as it is a high source of nutrients that support the growth of lactic acid bacteria. Bacteria associated with idli fermentation are Leuconostruc mesendroids, Lactobacillus corniformis, Lactobacillus delbruchi, Lactobacillus fermentum, Lactobacillus lactis, Streptococcus faecalis, Pediococcus species, etc. The yeast associated with idli fermentation are Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Torolopsis candida, Trichosporon pulilens, Deboromyces temari, etc. The organisms involved in the acidification of the idli batter have been identified as Streptococcus faecalis and Pediococcus species. The leavening is brought about by Leuconostroc mesendroids and also the yeast Torolopsis candida and Trichosporon pulloma are also found in traditional idli. The role of lactic acid bacteria is to reduce the pH of the batter to levels 4.4 to 4.5 and this pH is optimum for the activity and growth of yeast. These are representative images of various yeast and bacteria involved in idli batter fermentation. Biochemical changes during idli batter fermentation. There are two major changes occurring during idli batter fermentation. They are leavening and acidification. During leavening, the volume of batter increases from 1 to 3 times. And the acidification is due to the lactic acid formed during fermentation. The pH value decreases from 6 to about 4.3 to 5.3. There is also a slight increase in the level of soluble salts and non-protein nitrogen. The level of soluble nitrogen and free amino acids will get increased and the level of essential amino acids also increase. Choline, methionine, cysteine and vitamin C are present in fermented idli batter. Idli is a source of protein, calories, vitamins, 
and have enhanced nutritive value over the raw ingredients. It contains vitamins and methionine and it lacks anti-nutritional factors since they are hydrolyzed during fermentation. Fermentation eliminates or reduces anti-nutrients such as phytic acids and enzyme inhibitors and minimizes the flatulence problem. So, this is all about idli fermentation. Thank you so much for listening.